Good day, criminology students, and welcome to our part 5 lecture video discussions. Today, we will going to talk about the pillars of traffic. These are the main areas of traffic management, which also known as the ease of traffic. So we have traffic engineering, traffic education, traffic enforcement, traffic ecology or traffic environment, and the last is traffic economy. So these are the five E's of traffic. Upang makamit ang ligtas at mahusay na transportation ng mga tao or mga reducers, kailangan pag-aralan natin ang traffic and highway engineering. Traffic engineering is the science of measuring traffic and travel. The study of the basic laws relative to the traffic law and generations. So ibig sabihin, ang traffic engineering, engineering they are responsible sa mga traffic facilities, traffic signs, traffic lights, and also the traffic laws. The applications of this knowledge to the professional practice of planning, deciding, and operating traffic system and road design. They use or research to design the roadways and highways that increase traffic safety. Sila yung nag-e-implement, naglalagay ng mga stop signs, traffic signs, and traffic lights sa mga lugar kung saan madalas mangyari ang traffic congestions or accident. Pag-aaralan ng traffic engineering ang isang lugar na madalas nagkakaroon ng traffic congestions and accidents. Anong gagawin ng traffic engineering? Of course, maglalagay sila ng mga traffic facilities sa isang lugar kung saan madalas ang traffic congestions and accidents. These are the agencies or offices under the traffic engineering. We have DPWH, provincial governments, municipal governments, chartered cities. In DPWH, this includes the responsibility for determining traffic law, pattern, draw origin, and destinations. Studies of person and things, planning, approving, funding, and construction of national roads and maintenance and repair of roads. Paano natin malalaman na ito ay national roads? Mostly, ito yung mga main road. Halimbawa na lang, from Samar to Tacloban. Meaning to say, yung kalsada na yan, dere-derecho, papuntang Tacloban, yan yung main road na tinatawag natin national road. Then we have provincial governments. These are the local government units na mayroong similar responsibilities to the DPWH, but they are limited to traffic facilities in the municipalities within the province. While the municipal governments, these are the uh, same, same din siya sa provincial government, but limited to network of streets and roads within the barangay. And then the chartered cities, these are the uh, municipalities within the cities. Next pillar is traffic education. So pag sinabi traffic education, this is more on knowledge, imparting knowledge. So it refers to any act or process of imparting or acquiring general knowledge on traffic or any matters relating to the use of the traffic ways or roadways. Napaka-importante sa ating mga traffic users or pedestrians para malaman yung mga rules and regulations regarding sa traffic. Sa traffic education, this is the process of giving training and practice in the actual application of traffic safety knowledge. Halimbawa na lang kung kukuha tayo ng student's permit sa LTO. So hindi muna tayo makakakuha niyan kung hindi tayo dadaan sa TDC or Theoretical Driving Course. Of course, doon, uh, there will be a discussions, there will be an imparting knowledge to the road users or pedestrians. Then we have the agencies that involved in traffic management. So we have schools, public information programs, citizen support groups. Sa schools, na-discuss ko na dati na kahit sa elementary, dito sa Pilipinas, sa high school, sa college, halos wala. Maswerte pa nga tayo 
as a criminology students, meron tayong traffic education. Next, we have traffic enforcement. This is the action taken by the police such as arresting, issuing traffic citation ticket, and giving warning to the earring drivers for the purpose of deterring and discouraging and or event, prevent such violations. So, pag sinabi traffic enforcement, we are enforcing the law. Kung sino yung mga traffic users or road users na nagva-violate sa traffic way. These are agencies under the traffic enforcement. We have LTO, legislative bodies, and police traffic enforcement. Ano naman ang trabaho ng LTO? So, yan. Sila yung nag issue ng uh, driver licensing. So, pag magpaparistro tayo ng vehicles natin, so, doon tayo sa LTO. The LTO is also have the right to revoke your driver's license and to confiscate. We have also uh, legislative bodies. Yun, sila naman yung responsible in the passing or the amendment of laws. Then we have police traffic enforcement. These are includes the MMDA. What else? The PNP Highway Patrol Group, the police traffic auxiliaries, and the last is the LTO Flying Squad. Manguhuli sila o di kaya maninikit. Next, we have traffic ecology or traffic environment. The study of potentially disastrous population explosions, changes in urban environment due to the skill and density of new urban concentrations and new activities carried out, air pollution, water pollution, and crowding, especially transport congestions which result therein. So, sinasabi dito, Sa biglaan pagdami ng mga road users, magkakaroon talaga ng possibility to have a traffic congestions. And the more numbers of vehicles in a particular city or municipality, of course, the more possibility na magkakaroon talaga ng adverse effects sa ating environment. So ano-ano naman yung mga environmental effects na yan? So yun, papasok na si noise, vibrations, air pollution, dirt, visual intrusion, loss of privacy, etc. Sa noise, especially sa mga motor vehicles na minodify yung tampucho nila, of course, maingay sa tainga yun. Then we have vibrations. Ito yung mga malalaking sasakyan. Mga trucks na dumaraan sa gilid ng kalsada. What if yung bahay nyo nasa gilid ng kalsada? Of course, magkakaroon talaga ng vibration tuwing dumaraan yung mga truck na yan. Air pollution, yun, yung mga buga ng mga sasakyan, ang kakapal. Then we have dirt, yun, yung mga oil galing ng sasakyan. Visual intrusions, loss of privacy, and so on. The last pillars of traffic is called traffic economy. This is the most recent of the pillars of traffic which deals with the benefits and adverse effect of traffic economy. Primarily, traffic operation is designed to expedite movement of traffic para mapabilis, mapadali yung movement ng mga sasakyan. Kaya lang, with the prevailing traffic congestion, lalo na mga sa rush hours in any given locality, traffic adversely affects the economic status of commuting public some products. Hindi na deliver on time yung mga products. So, nagkakaroon ito ng adverse effects sa economy natin. Halimbawa na lang, sa isang araw, dalawang bisis kang nakakapag-deliver ng mga products or goods sa isang company, so kumikita ka ng isang milyon. Ang nangyari, dahil sa traffic congestion, nagkakaroon ng delay yung pag-deliver. So, imbis na dalawang bisis kang nakakapag-deliver sa isang araw, ngayon, isa na lang. So, halos half million yung nawala sa iyo. So, dahil sa traffic congestion, yun, nakaka, uh, nakaka-cost din ito ng adverse effects sa ating economy. Another aspect affecting our economy is the unending increase of oil prices in the world market. Dahil sa taas ng demand, dahil sa kulang ng supply ng mga gasolina, ang nangyayari, tataas ang presyo nila. Pag mangyari yun, apiktado ang mamamayan. Apiktado tayo nun dahil 
yung mga basic commodities natin ay tataas din yung mga presyo. Tataas yung mga bilihin, tataas yung pamasay. Yun yung adverse effect ng economy.